Travel log in the house. Here we are in Gatwick, off to Agadir, and there is the plane over there, as Mr. Dee has described as the little thing which we will be cramming ourselves onto in the next um, well, half an hour, whatever. It's actually minus seven outside today in London. Um, so off to Agadir should be good. So let's go for it, Agadir. Here we come. Well, we wait, Rafiti's going for the Shake Shack burger. Oh, it's quite soft, moist, quite a nice moist bun, like in a good way, soft. Yeah, looks tiny. Still have to get two in flight, I reckon. Cheap. Mm, quite soft meat. Yeah. Um, cheese are really good. Yeah, quite a lot of cheese on your face. Shack, the shack sauce, which you can kind of see there. Oh yeah, shack sauce. It's also really sauce. good. Good. Okay. I'd give it a Sorry. nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Very good. Definitely better than like McDonald's. By far. Okay. Well, yeah, hopefully. So here we are, chilling out in uh, Gatwick uh, while they de-ice planes outside. It's minus seven. Oh, was the second bite better? Second bite better. That is really good. Let's talk 9.25, it's been upgraded. So, uh, first video of the Agadir adventure. Uh, this video is really probably going to be us chilling out on the plane, having a bit of two in flight, nibbling the Shake Shack burgers in the plane, and uh, arriving, chilling out, looking at the room, maybe a little bit of a supper. Wandering into the plane, down this final little bit. I was looking at doing a bit of two in flight, but we've done the cheese toasty before, which was uh, actually really good. But everything is pork. You've got a turkey sandwich, doesn't look too bad. That's cold, comes with pork. That, pigs in blanket, comes with pork. Cheese plowmans, nobody really wants to see a cheese plowman's review. Um, chunky chips, had them before. Cheese toasty, had it before. Uh, bacon roll, pork. Okay, you have got a pure vegan lasagna, which actually sounds really disgusting. <laughs> Maybe we'll get that on the way home. Uh, I mean, it's uh, layers of gluten-free pasta in a herby vegetable sauce, topped with a dairy-free vegetable sauce. What do you think that sounds like, Majid? Sounds dodgy. Uh, lightly spiced vegan sausage roll and flapjack duo, cauliflower and onion bhaji with vegan curry spices and mango chutney. Maybe we should try that. Sausage roll, pork. So either, if you don't have pork, you basically got to go vegan. Instead, we are going for this Shake Shack Burger, which um, I did buy about two hours ago. There it is. It does look amazingly tasty, but it is also absolutely stone cold. Um, how cold do you reckon it is? Quite cold. Quite cold. I'd say astonishingly cold. Anyway, it does feel really cold. And it is very cold outside, minus seven, well, when we left. So, anyway, let's have a go at it and see what this beast is like. Hours after we got it. That one bite. Mm. Oh. Gotta be said, for an absolute stone cold burger, that's absolutely stunning. Good. Really tasty, really good brioche bun. Not only that, just the actual flavour of the burger itself, really tasty, really nice um, burger flavour. Ah, oh, what's the sauce like, and good cheese, everything. Also, it looks minute. I assume you'd have to buy, like, extra um, food because it's so small, but it's actually really satisfying. Also, satisfyingly rare, not overcooked, nicely, properly sort of rare in the centre. Tomatoes, cheese, absolutely stunning. And what would you give in your Shake Shack burger? 9.25 and the chips, cheesy chips. Oh, yeah, what we forgot to say. Cheesy chips. I don't think there's so anything the left of the cheesy really chips. Nice. The chips, very soft. That's all that's left of the cheesy chips. Chips, soft, salty, cheese, very nice flavoured cheese. Yeah. Really good, 9.75. Yeah, the cheesy chips are absolutely stunning. Actually. It, was, it, was, it was also quite a sort of like, Flavorful cheese, like a Gruyere or something, don't you think? Had a real flavor to it. Um, so the cheese was actually amazingly good. Rating? Yeah. Rating? Oh, uh, nine point. Uh, 
Uh, it's hard. What do we give um, GBK? Do you think it's better? I actually prefer it to the GBK burger. Same. Huh? It's more tasty. It's tastier than the GBK. But I still think it's hard to beat. Um, and it's better than meat and shake. It's better than meat and shake, but it's hard to beat. It's, it's better than it's be, better than meat and shake. It doesn't beat Fat Twins. Fat. It's close to Fat it Twins. A, fat Twins is just a thing of its own, isn't it? Anyway, absolutely amazing. So this is our in-flight meal today. Here we are in Agadir. And we're off to get a two coach. And I see these are some of the two coaches. Coach number six is what we are looking for. Here we are in the Tui bus. Getting ready to stroll on. That's the airport out there. Airport out there. Looking quite nice. We've just landed. Here's the crew, ready to rock. Travelled off. You yeah. need to describe the flag of Morocco without looking. I have no idea what it looks like without looking. It's red. It's just outside. <laughs> it's just red. I think well, it is star. just red with a star, basically. Nice. A green star. So it's so hot, especially in this coach, that we've all taken our uh, jumpers off and um, our winter clothing from the minus seven degrees in London. And we are now back on, what is it? How many degrees is it? Can't find out. 21 degrees. That's what it says. We've got a £10 orange SIM card from the airport, which is be 10 gigabytes. So let's see how long it lasts. Here we are. It's chilling in the coach on the way to the uh, hotel. Are you taking a good ear? And you've got a little bit of a rather lovely um, Moroccan uh, sort of countryside out it's really brown and beautiful in the distance. You'll we'll see some more nice mountains occasionally. Got well, beautiful views of the uh, mountains are. Not sure where we are, but we must be getting closer to the uh, hotel. We've been going for about half an hour now, so I guess we should be getting there soon. Apparently, we still can see a wild dog. Film the wild dog. Film the wild dog. Yeah, nice view of the sea down there. Looks really cool actually. Got a beautiful sort of sunset with all those birds flying around. See we go through like a sort of strip of hotels at the moment down by the beach. Right, we think this is it. Are we have to keep it added here. That is actually it. We are actually here. There you go. Looks good. Let's head inside. Check this place out. So here we are, heading into the Rio Palace Tequila Agadir, which I seem to find totally hard to say. All right, strolling. See what happens. That's the place there. And here we go. Everybody dragging their luggage in. Right, oh man, look at that nice reception area. Nice and big and luxy. Look at that, funky reception area. What's that? A big thing. Oh, it's a massive turtle shell. Cool, right. Where's reception? I don't know, it looks pretty funky in here. Low lights, a chilled vibe to the whole thing. This is the uh, restaurant, which we're gonna turn up here later. Film a bit when we chomp up here. Board with a menu on it, telling us what we're having. Oh. Portuguese cover fish, both bourguignon Wait, stew, and anyway, we'll see what it is later. On a beach? Yeah, beach. sure you can. Yeah, it's oh. just a, Not a nice, nice bar over there. Yeah, mozzarella sticks look good, don't they? There's a weird giant woman. It is really nice. It's really nice. Look, you've got a good view out of there. It's really nice. You've got a lovely view down to the sea, haven't you? Look at that. It's all sorts of things here. Game area, heated pool, gym, Rio Art, Rio Fit. 1006 to 1060. What number is our room? Strolling down here, trying to find the room. 2025, I think. And it's 2049. So we are on the way. Room discovery. 2025, here we are. Oh, not bad. Look at that. Oh, nice. Nice big bed. That's pretty cool. Pretty good. Big bed. There's a big bed, isn't it? Nice room. 
a bit of a fan. That's actually the biggest bed I've ever seen. What's that? It's There's a big a bed. Oh, Where's the fly? So it's just a mole. Okay, there's a mole. There's a midget bed. Actually, at least I've set it up for you. It looks quite nice. Oh, not much of a sea view view there. But, uh, um, pretty cool a little table for chilling out with. There's a moth in the room, obviously. Oh, let's have a look. Yeah, it is, it is quite. Oh, is there, is there a balcony? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, it's a nice seating area, look. What is that moth thing doing? Oh, I didn't realise there was a Oh, there is a seating area. I didn't realise there was a seating area. Oh, right, yeah, it's a balcony. Quite nice. It's quite a big balcony. It's quite big, that balcony, actually. Let me go on. How do we open it? Oh, here we go. Maybe open it quite quickly. Probably giant moths up here. Hmm, balcony's pretty cool. Quite nice, chilling out here. Which way are we looking? Are we looking away Working from out the of the top? side of the hotel, I'd say. Oh, right, here we are in the uh, mm. bathroom. It's actually a rather nice bathroom. Got a nice little sort of bath area down here. There must be a light somewhere for that. Um, double sink, which looks cool. Me. Oh, Lou. And uh, B Day. Looks good, man. Nice sun um, tile. Looks pretty cool. Nice little body milk. They look like funky. Look nice. Sun glasses. Got a couple of bottles of water. One sprite. No. <laughs> what have you got in there? You got a sprite and what? A few two cokes. Sprite, two cokes, two nice. A couple them. of bottles sugar. of mineral water. Oh, full of sugar, I bet. I don't have so much. Oh, safe. What's coat in there? Hangers. Just sort of coat hangers. Ooh, this pretty good. Hmm, cool. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Hmm. Nice room, I would say. Pretty cool. I like some. Chill out and then go and see what, explore more of the hotel. As Midget said, we've forgotten to do the bed test. It's uh, quite solid, just so. Quite solid. It's, whoa, oh, I think it's quite firm. I don't think that's too bad. I mean, to be fair, I did jump from quite high height. Yeah, I think it's quite firm. I quite like it, actually. Are you going to do a speed test? Speed test. Speed test. Go. Of the internet, what is it like? Whoa, I look at it. that. 300. Make a bit a second, that's insanely good. You could upload Man. a video from here for real. Exactly, yeah, you could do it actually. What is it? No way! That's better upload than That's better upload than we got at home, 125. Check it out, man. Germany, so you could barely do anything. The first time. Morocco, you got absolutely cracking Wi Fi. That's the best internet we've ever seen. That is the best internet we've ever seen in a hotel. It's actually Mom. fantastic. Mom, Quite amazing. Know. Right, so now we have a little pre supper exploration. And um, we're going to go and look for these bars and restaurants. I think there's. Seems to be what one, two, three, four bars. The main restaurant, the restaurant Il Mer, restaurant La Santa, restaurant Morocco. There seems to be three um, other uh, special restaurants. And then this is the map of the place. It's got a massive pool in the centre, which looks cool. And then um, all this place around it. So let's go on an adventure and see what we discover. It's quite big this hotel. It's got rather nice luxurious people to it. So. So here we are, strolling around the um, uh, Rio de Agadir um, All Inclusive. What's this? So you've got quite a lot of things over here. This is the, um, oh, like pasta, which I think they must make. Oh, yeah, they must make that pasta fresh, I think. Looks good. Pizzas. What is that? Oh man, that must be a dessert of like um, bananas. Um, wow, check this out, man. This is hot. Oh, you so you've got beef moussaka. What's that? Steamed potatoes. Oh man. Mussels. Grilled fish. That's more like a fish section. 
Everybody's going for it hardcore, as you can see. Pounding around the restaurant. Devouring it up. Uh, got some uh, potatoes. Ooh, a bit of steak. It's more like a steak. Steak to burp. Mm, nice steak. Oh, God, look at that jus. That jus looks good, baby. Chips. Will you come with me and get some roast beef? All right, let's go on. Midget has demanded roast beef. Let's go on the roast beef mission. Uh, I've already got my plate. Where's uh, the roast I beef? Over here. Uh, we need a plate. We need a plate, okay. Oh man, this is where they're carving up the roast beef. Looks nice, doesn't it? Man, that looks good. Cauliflower curry, very nice. Oh look, those nice little um, freshly cooked cauliflower. Oh, it's actually really nice to have those freshly cooked. Man, nice Indian sort of vibe to it. Okay, let's get the roast beef carved up. Good man. Oh. Ray PD going for the roast beef. Thank you. <laughs> Looks really good. <laughs> mm. Yeah, go on, go for the gravy. Get that gravy on there. You are? I want to put it on the side. Put it on the side, okay, put it on the side. Oh, sorry, no. I saw what the seafood, the, the cooked seafood, or the. Um, is there. The corns on top, and they've prepared these little things. It's What's really that? Nice. In there. Oh, man. Look at these lovely pastries and biscuits. Oh, man. It's got to be said, the food here looks absolutely amazing. Yeah. Food here looks absolutely amazing, actually, right. We're just heading over to. Um, Oh man, that cheese! Look at that cheese! <laughs> that cheese is good. Oh man, oh my god, that's like a cake of fish. That is a cake of fish. Oh man, then you've got individual things. Oh, I love these little things they've made. Like these little um, pate things they've made with sauce yesterday. And you got a little kind of fish bits there. They look really good, don't they? Mm. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, sorry, I'm going to. I'm going to go and head into what's first. So that that is tuna and what is that? Tuna. Man. That's a tagine. And this is a midget. Tell me about the book. Yeah, it's actually really good. And I got mashed potato too. Mashed potato, oh god, what do you want? Okay, heading into the a starter, so you could just do different things. Anyway, that's the starter. I've got some sort of weird fish cake thing and a little weird um, prawn sort of basket. There's so many amazing bits of food here, you sort of almost wonder if you should actually even have uh, any kind of starter because oh man look look at this Mrs. D has suddenly got an egg out of a what is that an egg out of a it's an egg and tuna and inside of egg and tuna and filo pastry what's it like it looks god that looks good man delicious man check it out okay let's go for the starters let's go for this um that one is that really good she's a bit blown away by the filo pastry the tuna in it is quite spicy oh and you've got the clean egg the mm. oh man this is toasty as well mm. Oh, really good. That's the tuna and egg in filo pastry. No, 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 no. That is dreamy as hell, man. That is mad. This is the weird sort of um, seafood cake I got something from. Not bad. 
similar like salmon tuna. And this is like a... Hmm. You often have these sort of... Too hmm. well good. No idea what it is. Seafood's well. Tasty. Okay, moving into the roast beef, everybody. Um, look at that. Beast. Saw them carving it up earlier. It looks good, man, doesn't it? Okay, everybody, so we're heading into the roast beef. Oh, look at that, man. Mm. Oh, baby. Right, we're gonna nosh into that and see what it's like. Let's have a go. You know what, it's that gravy. The gravy is amazing. It's really kind of herby, flavorful gravy. Isn't that? Absolutely stunning. Mm. The beef is soft and juicy and succulent, but the gravy is absolutely amazing. Moving into another beef uh, section. So that is beef goulash. Well, let's go for the goulash first. Goulash number one with a bit of rice. Mm. Oh. Fine drink. It's got a burnt flavour. What? Gravy. Is gravy good? I can still taste a burnt flavour to it. In a bad way. Strange way. Let's try the um what they said was coke de burp or this beef. No, I don't think the gravy would have a flavor. Mm. No, it's good. It's just a coat to buff. I think some of it must have scorched in the pan. Mm. Well, this is good. Mm. Mm. Really good. Mad Camel and Santa. Oh, man. The zebra is just amazing. Anyway, there you go. A crazy, absolutely beautiful sand sculpture. And I suppose it's not going to rain here. It will stay. Anyway, quite extraordinary and beautiful.